Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about linear applications. That is basically applying situations, real life situations with linear functions. So recall that a linear function is a function of the form y equal mx plus b or y and f of x are interchangeable. So it can also be f of x equal mx plus b. m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. So you have a linear application anytime you're in a situation where you have something that has a constant rate of change. That means it's changing at the same rate regardless of what's happening. And so in the case of an application, the slope is the same as the average rate of change or the rate of change. And your y-intercept is your initial amount. And so these are the two things you need to know when dealing with linear applications. So you need to know the rate of change and you need to know the initial amount. And so that'll be your slope and your y-intercept. So let's look at an example. Okay, for example one, we want to look at the um, problem. It's a word problem the application. It says that a parking garage in a large city, the charge for parking consists of a flat fee of $2 plus $1.50 per hour. And so we want to write a linear equation to model this situation. And we also want to evaluate it at P of 1.6. So we want to write a linear equation of the form of P of T. So P is going to represent the price for co uh, the price for parking, the parking cost. And T is going to represent the time and hours that you spend. And so since there is a flat fee of $2, then our initial amount it's going to be equal to 2, and that means no matter what, even if you just drive through the parking lot, you have to pay $2 because that's a flat fee. And then for each hour, so our rate of change, for each hour, it's $1.50, so our rate of change is going to be 1.50, or you could just say 1.5. And so if we write it in the form of mx plus b, then you're going to get your rate of change, which is 1.5 times x. Well, it's usually x, but since it said to write it as p of t, you're going to replace your x with the t plus the initial amount, which is 2. And so this is how you write the linear equation for this problem. And then we also want to find p of 1.6. That means wherever there is a t, replace it with a 1.6. 1.5 times 1.6 is 2.4, and so that becomes 2.4 plus 2, which is equal to 4.4. And so what that means is that since we replace 1.6 with T, that means when you park for 1.6 hours, and you can convert that to see exactly how many hours and minutes that is, but when you park for 1.6 hours, you're going to pay a total of $4.40 to park in that parking garage. And so this is how you work a linear application. Okay, so now I want you to try this one. So I want you to figure out, it says the average water level in a retention pond is 6.8 feet. Uh, during a time of drought, the water level decreases at a rate of 3 inches per day. So I want you to see if you can write a linear function that represents the water level, WT, in feet, T days after the drought begins. And then I also want you to evaluate W20 and interpret what it means. So I'm going to give you one little hint here. Notice that the rate of change, the three inches that it loses per day, is in inches, but the initial amount is in feet. So you either need to convert them both to feet or convert them both to inches. And I'm going to recommend that you convert them both to feet. So take a minute, pause it, and see if you can write the equation for this. So the initial amount is 6.8 6.8 feet, and the rate of change is 3 inches. And if you want to convert inches to feet, then you would say um, 1 foot is equal to 12 inches so you want your inches to be in the bottom so those can cancel and your answer will be left in feet so you'll have 3 over 12 feet which is equal to 1 fourth which is 0.25 feet and so your rate of change is going to be and that's going to be a negative because it's actually decreasing so that's a negative 0.25 feet so your equation wt w of t will be equal to negative 0.25t 
plus 6.8. And so now both of those are in terms of feet. So this will be your equation. And so if you evaluate this at W of 20, that means wherever there's a T, you replace it with the 20. You get negative 0.25 times 20 plus 6.8. Negative 0.25 times 20 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus 6.8 is 1.8. And so what that means is 20 days since we replaced T with 20, that's the number of days after the drought has started. So 20 days after the drought has started, there's 1.8 feet of water left in the retention pond. And so that's how you work this linear application. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure you include them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, you should have by now, but just in case you haven't, make sure you go on and hit that subscribe button so you can get um, access to more math-related videos. Thank you.